All right, let's get set for our second competitor of the night, who's not only a rescue dog, but also a true life gladiator, Team Crixus. My name is John Anthony Shahor. I am a professional dog trainer. This is my dog, Crixus of Gaul. He's a Doberman Malinois mix, also known as a Doberman Shepherd. He's two years old. I got a call about a Doberman Shepherd. He was underweight with Giardia. It was like this dog might die. Went to take a look at him. He just, he was a really sweet dog. I didn't want him to get put down. So I nursed Crixus back to health and just kind of fell in love with him. He was just such a unique dog and uh, so willing that he just kind of stuck around. Sit down. I didn't have any intention of using him as a working dog. As he got older, his confidence was just kind of growing. He was like, oh, I'm kind of a badass. Now, Crixus beats law enforcement dogs on a daily basis. Never count out rescue dogs, because even an underdog can be a champion. That's my boy. Wow, just extraordinary when you see that story. Ready to work, boy? To guarantee a spot in round two, they need to beat it's Team Bowie's time of two minutes, 28.54 seconds. No issues go. Wow, that was oh. a nice leap. That's about a four and a half foot difference between vehicle one, vehicle two. Did it beautifully. Look at this time. He's going to blister if he can get out of this fourth car. Wow, they're at fire escape in 20 seconds. That's faster than Team Bowie. Yeah. Yeah, beautiful run. Now, will the hang-up be the fire escape and the ball? As you notice, he's not as interested in the ball as much as Bowie was. He's interested in the wrong ball. He's confused <laughs> by his trainer, John Anthony's ball, and they're losing time. After 30 seconds, the handler can pull the door down. On to the second level. A lot of the time, it's a genetics thing. A lot of the breeds we see here are bred to instinctively grab balls. With me. After another 30-second struggle, John Anthony pulls down the door. Oh, boy. Good boy. Come on. Hi, ya boy. And that's another 30 seconds. Crixus has to fall on his sword there. They need to get back down the street level. They can't beat Bowie's time, on, but they boy. need to do something here to stay hey. competitive. Crix. That's one way to Crix. do it. Look, go. Beautiful jump. No issue going hey. under the four foot wall. Hi, ya. There you go. Now they're making up time. Over. Three minutes, 22 seconds as he breezes across the rope bridge. Now Crix. it's on the splashdown. The next couple of seconds will make hey. a breaker. Oh, amazing teamwork. Oh, no, he's swimming in the wrong direction. Will he get it turned around? He does. Crixus swims to the voice of his trainer. These two clearly have a connection. Just needs to make it up the ramp. Wow. Are you not entertained? Team Crixus, the gladiators, fought until the end for a time of 3 minutes, 49.1 seconds. All right, let's do it. Oh, that's my boy. Crixus trains with narcotics, so that's what we're using on the five items for his run. First is the luggage room, where the scent is in the ugly black purse. Crixus is already all over the purse. John Anthony picks up on it. And they have their first item in less than a minute. They're off to a really great start, just like they were in round one. Can they keep this going? Into the bathroom they go, where the scented item is the loofah on the bathtub shelf. Looks like Crixus just missed it. Remember, the scents are small, about the size of a nickel. Ooh, that loofah is breaking a lot of hearts today. If they haven't Search. found it by now, they should switch rooms. Search. Two minutes in, only one item, and trying to find their next room. Search. John Anthony goes right into a detailed search. Search. Crixus is close, but not picking up the scent. John Anthony goes for the plant, but I didn't see an alert. I think John Anthony kind of took a shot in the dark right there. Search. The boneyard will do that to you. It's a stinky pressure cooker. Now Crixus is focused on the file box. There we go. John Anthony picks up on it. Yeah, yeah, boy. Two items in three and a half minutes. They Search. need to find two more to avoid elimination. They're into the storage room, where the scent is on the blue bin. Search. And Crixus goes right by it. I think you're going to see John Anthony go back to what's worked for him. That nice, detailed search. Is that it, boy? Search. Right there. I read that as an alert. John Anthony picked up on it. Too. Yeah, good boy. They find three items in just over four minutes and 20 seconds. They're into the locker room. They're trying to find the baseball club. The fourth item will save them from elimination. Final 10 seconds. Can the civilian underdog do what the police canines couldn't? The backpack is incorrect. No. Search. They're right in front of it. Come on, Crixus, smell the glove. But time will run out on him. That's all right, good boy. They find three items in four minutes, 21 seconds. That's slower than Team Bowie, so our underdog, Team Crixus, is eliminated. And they're standing by with Jamie. What has this been like for you, this journey? This has been the experience of a lifetime. I'm really excited for him. I'm really excited for what it means for rescue dogs and what they can do.